turkey's off the table, and the countdown has begun till Christmas. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Black Friday, Free For All Friday. I hope you guys had an excellent Thanksgiving if you chose to celebrate it. If not, I hope you enjoyed your Thursday. As you guys know, next week will be a big week for the channel. Gaming Tuesday will end, Adventure Wednesday will pick back up, and Thungry Thursday, Beer of the Week will start as well. So for today's episode, seeing how Story Saturday starts with Season 2 tomorrow, I thought I would share a Thanksgiving-related story with you guys. So this story right here takes place on Thanksgiving Eve, the day before Thanksgiving about four years ago. Our original plan for that night was when Amanda got out of work, she was going to come over here. We were going to leave the house in the truck, go pick up my buddy Sean that you may remember from some other episodes, and then head out to a bar in the town that's next to ours. Anyways, Amanda got here, we headed over, picked Sean up, and then the way to go from Sean's house to this next town over brought you on this weird zigzag path around the community college and then down Mount Tom into the town of East Hampton. Now, we got up to where the community college in this town is, and there was a car in front of us. So for this part of the story, I'm going to use this car right here as a visual representation of the car that was in front of us. No, this is not the exact same car that was in front of us, but nonetheless, the guy was in front of us and started drifting over to the center lane almost towards the other side of the road into oncoming traffic. Thankfully, there was no oncoming traffic at that time. Now, he wasn't drifting over to the other side, to the right-hand side, towards the passenger side, towards houses or mailboxes. He was crossing over into the wrong lane on the road, and we really didn't know what was going on. If he was texting on the phone, maybe he had something to drink. So we were kind of figuring out if we're going to call 911, if I should honk my horn, flash the high beams. Before we could make any decision whatsoever, this guy crossed the road again, and we're just, it was like slow motion, the slowest motion you can ever, I mean, this guy had to be doing like 10 miles an hour, hit a curb, went up, and there was a row of pine trees, there was probably four or five different pine trees, and this guy's driver's side tires rolled across all the trees, I don't know how this car didn't land up on its roof, but nonetheless, at the end of the row of trees was a fire hydrant, he crashed right into there, kind of came back down on the ground, even though these two wheels were not on the ground, they were like pinned up against a tree like that. We stopped the truck, got out of the truck, ran over there, this guy is sitting there, the airbags were completely deployed, the two front tires, this tire on the passenger side was facing out that way, the tire on the driver's side was facing out the other way, this car was not going anywhere, the entire front end was smashed up, I don't know how the axle in the front wasn't ripped off, but nonetheless, this guy is sitting there, and he's passed out, and we're, sir, sir, are you okay? Don't move, don't move. He's not really responding, and then all of a sudden, he starts trying to start his car and driving away, and we're like, no, no, you can't go anywhere. The horn's going off. There's smoke coming out the car. Eventually, the cops show up. The people that lived in the house came outside and told us how they were just debating cutting down all those trees a couple weeks ago and how they're happy that the trees actually stayed up there because the guy would have been in their living room. But nonetheless, it's just my crazy story about what happened on the night before Thanksgiving about four years ago. Like I said, I don't know whatever happened to the guy. They had to take him out by ambulance. They ended up towing the vehicle because it wasn't able to drive. But absolutely crazy that we witnessed this right in front of us. And there are still marks on the trees to this day from where this guy hit it. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving. I hope you guys got some good Black Friday deals if that is what you're into. Stay Stay tuned tomorrow morning because Season 2 of Story Saturday will be live. And I thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.